Hi, today we have exercise number two. <laughs> this is a uh, wash, but now it's multi layer wash. We will do simple gradient with wash and some complicated wash in form of cylinder. Let's get going. And our first step, uh, after completing the line drawing, uh, check the link for the uh, file uh, with this line drawing uh, in the uh, video description. Uh, we will wash our paper surface uh, working areas uh, with clean water, as, uh, as it was in in our first exercise uh, this we will do this because uh, we have we want to have uh, clean and uh, ready for applying washes uh, surface uh, of the paper the first part is uh, quite straightforward it's just a uh, uh, simple um, multi-layer uh, gradient wash uh, we will do so we will apply them from the top to the bottom uh, our layers and the second part uh, would be uh, more interesting uh, it's uh, uh, also uh, a gradient wash uh, on the uh, gradient multi-layer wash but uh, there we will do something like a uh, very simplified uh, metallic uh, cylinder uh, so we will do slightly less s simple uh, multi-layer wash uh, on it I will wash uh, the uh, uh, right uh, second part uh, of our exercise too uh, to have a uh, ready surface, clean and ready. Uh, by the way, uh, it was one of my favorite uh, exercises when I started to learn uh, watercolor. Uh, I liked it uh, very much. Next step, we have prepared our uh, color mix. I will use uh, a different color uh, this time. Uh, I will use even uh, granulating uh, color, but it's uh, I like it because it's uh, less intense than uh, ordinary blue colors I use. Uh, so this is the Prussian blue uh, from Daniel Smith. Uh, so we have to get a lot of water and prepare our mix.
Don't forget to check the uh, intensity of the color on the piece of paper. Uh, just as I, I, I call it, uh, tone check. Now, if you uh, watched my first video with uh, wash exercise, you know what to do. Uh, we just have to do a simple wash. Once again, uh, trying to touch paper as avoid to touch paper as much as possible uh, and do it uh, nice and smooth. removing uh, the water bubble on the bottom. And please don't forget to apply the second layer uh, after uh, previous layer is completely dry. I uh, because uh, I have some um, magic of uh, video shooting. Uh, I just compress the time, but it's uh, it's not okay to do the second layer just after the first layer. Uh, keep that in mind. Wait for it to dry completely.
Now we start the uh, third layer. And I believe you... I hope you got the idea. So I will compress the time and speed up the video for all... Uh, for next layers uh, I will apply. Because it's uh, quite simple. Apply, wait for it to dry, apply next. And now I start uh, the last last layer uh, on the uh, first part of our exercise. And uh, just uh, notice uh, how quite smooth the result I got because I always waited for all surface uh, dried completely. If you will do it uh, on the uh, still wet uh, previous layers you will not get it so uh, this is important for any of the uh, multi-layer washes uh, keep them dry before you start the next one that's a quite strict rule 
And now we uh, start uh, the second part of our exercise, our metal cylinder. Uh, this is, uh, if you uh, followed uh, completely uh, to my line drawing and made the same number of sectors, uh, you can uh, completely uh, do it as I do, step by step. Uh, but also, uh, you just feel free to do your own gradients, uh, set of gradients here. Uh, also, you can do it uh, for the second time or the third time, uh, just to improve it, uh, to make it look even nicer than I will do. So, now we start. And uh, one more reminder about uh, wash techniques. Always just uh, lead the bottom uh, bubble from the top to the bottom. Try to uh, avoid uh, touch the paper surface as much as you can. Just uh, allow this bubble to go uh, down and down. Uh, that's, that's the... Uh, <laughs> most uh, most underrated uh, secret of of the wash please notice how i do it how gentle i am with uh, paper surface and how i trick the bubble to go from the top to the bottom So this is our first uh, layer of the second part of our exercise.
So uh, from the third layer, I once again will uh, speed up uh, our video because you. Uh, I hope you catch the idea how to do it, and uh, we will save uh, some time on watching. Uh, better spend this time on your own exercise. Sometimes, and that is uh, clearly visible uh, on the on our first uh, part of exercise. Some gradient washes uh, stop to raise uh, the tone uh, of uh, of the wash. That's because um, uh, a number of reasons uh, how paper uh, work with different mixes of. Uh, paint. Uh, so, uh, if you uh, notice uh, that thing, I, mm, I just uh, that's my tip uh, to to trick uh, these uh, laws, uh, physical laws, and just to make uh, the stronger mix of color uh, for that. So, uh, I will do slightly stronger color for the last couple of uh, moves. Uh, in this exercise, uh, to do to do it more uh, right looking uh, gradient.
and now I will smooth uh, slightly uh, to uh, too strong uh, last line with slightly less uh, slightly watered uh, brush uh, with paint uh, to to slightly smooth out the contrast between the last layer and uh, previous ones. And that's it. How does it look? Finished. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to hit like, uh, to hit the bell, and blah blah blah. <laughs> See you on the next lesson.